handle myself out there, Mother. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make a cheap, easy, and convention safe pan prop for your Tangled cosplay needs. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now let's get crafty. I'll have a pattern up on my site if you don't want to make your own, but this pattern is pretty simple to make. I recommend using half inch thick EVA foam, but if you only have thinner foam, then you can stack the layers as I did here. Cut two circles for the base to your desired size. Then use a fabric tape measure to measure the circumference. Cut a rectangle just a few inches longer than the circumference measurement and about one to one and a half inches tall. Also cut two handle shapes and a rectangle as wide as the handle. Next, take some heavy gauge wire twice as long as the handle down the side of the pan and through the base. Bend it in half and shape it to follow that path. Put contact cement along the outer edge of the circle and along the bottom of the rectangle. Let the glue dry and begin laying the wall along the outside of the pan base. I recommend putting the textured side of the foam on the outside of the pan. You'll see why later. You should have a little overlapping. Slice a bit of that excess off and connect the ends with contact cement. Next, glue the handle pieces together, sandwiching the wire between them. Then attach the handle to the wall with contact cement, making sure it lines up at the top edge of the wall. Then glue the second base piece onto the bottom to hide the wire. Lastly, glue the small rectangle along the wall under the handle to hide the remaining wire. Now to sand. Take a Dremel with a sanding drum and bevel the bottom edge of the pan in to make a nice curve. Also, curve the rim of the pan on both edges. Now earlier I said to leave the textured side facing out. This is to make sanding that away easier than if it was on the inside like I did here. The outer wall can be roughly sanded with some dings and scratches too. The texture will make it look more authentic. Then bevel and shape the handle and wire cover too. Press the Dremel straight down into the handle to create a hole. This will make it easy to add a strap later. Now take the heat gun to it one more time and then plasti dip it. Let's paint. Take either silver rub and buff or silver acrylic paint and dry rub it all over the pan. Next, dry brush the black acrylic over any areas that picked up too much silver and into the inner corner of the pan. Lastly, take some brown, orange, and green acrylic paint and stipple it into the pan to look like food stains. Let it dry and you're ready to bash some ruffians. If you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. Hit that subscribe button and remember, cosplay is all about having fun.